Well, I guess I cut my video off, and so I'm going to try this again. I'll have to have two parts, because uh, I don't know how to put them together. But anyhow, here's the Dano's uh, cheesening. It's called cheesening. And I've got my potatoes laid in my uh, in my skillet. Just got them laid around the edge. And I'm going to open up uh, his cheesening here, seasoning. Let's see if we can get this thing open. Uh, hands are a little wet. I just love it when they seal these things. I can never get them open. There we go. All right. See what we got here, cheesening. There. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna give them a good dose. Well, one thing, it doesn't come out very easy. That's for sure. It's not coming out like I anticipated or hoped to. So, I guess it's the type of thing. I guess they want you to use a lot of seasoning so you buy more, I guess. I don't know. But it does not come out very easy. Oh, shoot. There we go. Ah. Get some seasoning on there. All right. So, I guess you can't make too much, can you? So, anyhow, we're going to be back uh, with the results. All right, we're going to continue here um, with, uh, this, is, this is actually going to be part two since I uh, kind of messed up the first part. I hit the wrong button. Uh, like I said, I haven't videotaped in a while, so apologize for that. But anyhow, I do have my meatloaf uh, set for the oven. And it's looking like this. Got potatoes all the way around it. I actually put Daniel's cheesening. It's called cheesening on, on the potatoes. And uh, again, got my meatloaf. And so I'm going to finish it up, and what I do is uh, I buy these uh, pieces of bacon, their ends or whatever they are in the store. So I'm going to put some bacon over the top, and uh, that's what my mother used to do. So I'm going to follow in her steps here a little bit, and uh, do this, uh, lay bacon across the top, and it should keep it moist. And it should give it some pretty good flavor. So we're going to line bacon on here. Got one real nice piece here. Like I said, they're cut up their, their ends. It's a little cheaper than buying a, all the nice pretty looking pieces of bacon. So that's a nice piece right there. So got that all set. Got my bacon here. Let's get my hands uh, cleaned up here. So, meatloaf, it's going to be a little spicy. Again, I've got uh, three pounds of um, ground beef. I've got uh, one jalapeno in there with the seeds. i got a green pepper put in. I've got uh, shiitake mushrooms cut in, uh, onions cut in. I added uh, Swiss cheese, Asiago cheese, and it brewer, brewery cheese. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a, I guess it's a Swiss cheese of some sort. Uh, type, but it's a uh, sweet it says sweet nutty flavor. Yeah, that's good. So I got that cheese ground in here mixed in I got two eggs put into it and I added a little bit of ketchup to mix it all in give it a little extra flavor and then uh, Yeah, I got uh, Dano original seasoning put in here and I'm gonna give that a shot uh, And see what it's like So I'm going to uh, now throw this in the oven and uh, come back with the results So, I've got the uh, meatloaf out of the oven, and uh, meatloaf with my roasted uh, potatoes in my uh, cast iron. This is my end results. I got a little creative again. Um, so, I usually take, uh, put a little ketchup on the top, so when it was done baking, I thought it was done baking, then I add a little ketchup. And so today I decided to add some jalapenos on top since I added them to to the meatloaf to begin with so so it looks so pretty doesn't it and so uh, that's done and so what we're going to do is we're going to give this a, a cut and hopefully everything 
will hold together. So let's cut a piece here. I've cut a big enough piece here to, to get out. And let's get a couple of these uh, potatoes. So we've got some chunky potatoes. We have Dano's cheese. Woo! Cheese spice. And then my meatloaf. So it's a big piece, but this way you can see it. We'll just kind of lay it on here. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. That tastes pretty good. So meatloaf holding together. You can see my peppers, my onions in there. And we've got some three different kinds of cheese in there. I roast the potatoes with that Daniel's uh, seasoning, and uh, let's give this a try. I didn't, I didn't even grab a fork, did I? So I'll use a spoon. So I got a spoon here. Let's give it a little try here. Cut this meatloaf up. Let's get a little pepper, pepper in there. So moment of truth to see if it tastes good. I've never made this before. Mm. Oh wow. It's got a really nice flavor of the jalapenos. I can taste them. Nice flavoring from the from sort of spices. Um, let me get a little jalapeno from the top. So a piece of jalapeno pepper. So these are just uh, canned jalapenos, kind of the sour ones, uh, pickled ones. I just put them on top, put my ketchup on, put the jalapenos on top, and then put it back in the oven for about uh, 15 minutes. Hmm. Wow. That is good. Get a little bite of potato. See if the, I can taste the dano cheesy sauce or cheesy spice. Mmm. That's good. Picking up some of the flavor from the from the juice from the meat and the, the bacon on top. And uh, wow. Turned out very well. So, also added some. So again, you know, got three pounds of hamburger meat here. I took cut up one bell pepper, one uh, large jalapeno with the seeds. I then added uh, some mushrooms and onion. Uh, I, I, I cut up some shiitake mushrooms, a large onion, um, and then I put in some extra pepper flakes. But it's uh. It's good little zing. It's not really spicy, that hot, that spicy. But um, if you want more spice, then just you know keep adding, add to it. Uh, and I might add a little sauce or spice to it, some more. Um, but it's good. It's got great flavor. And so again, potatoes, that dano seasoning. Check them out. I mean, I, I'm liking it. Mmm. It's really good on the potatoes, that Dano uh, cheesy sauce, spice. And then the Dano's original I've used in the meatloaf. Very good flavoring. Very good. So go out yourself. Go make some uh, meatloaf. And uh, you can add uh, my recipe here, Preacher of Spice. Um, feel free. Try it. And uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So, well, this is... Uh, Started out at lunch, but now it's my supper. I think I baked this almost uh, two hours, and uh, it's a large, large amount, but uh, turned out very well. So, mm -mm. this is really good. Oh wow! Mm. That is good. So, another successful recipe for me, and. Uh, 
who knows, I'm kind of working on maybe I'll get all my recipes put in a book. Somebody asked for it already. And I might be doing that. So, anyhow, Preacher of Spice here today. And uh, wishing you all to have a blessed day. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.